Holy Fire in Riverside and San Bernardino counties is growing fast. We have team coverage. Jasmine Beal on the arson suspect. Danielle Gersh has the forecast. But we start with Cara Finstrom, who's live in the fire zone with the latest. Cara? This fire more than doubled in size overnight, Sharon. So an aggressive attack continuing uh, today. And you can see some of the fire retardant, a pink line there along this hillside where the smoke is still rising. Well, I've been waiting for it to get down here. I knew it was coming. This morning, embers from the Holy Fire sparked dry brush along Grand Avenue and Lake Elsinore. Flames roared up and threatened nearby homes and a church, but fire crews protected them. The battalion chief told us firefighters have rushed between neighborhoods since yesterday afternoon. There was an Elsinore effect and a wind shift, and it, it caused us to take a defensive approach as opposed to uh, being offensive. We had to pull back and focus on getting all those people out and focus on protecting their houses. In a remote area of Corona, flames destroyed this structure and a car. Well, separate flare ups threatened this Lake Elsinore home. Is there any fire trucks coming? And not far away, consumed the hillsides along Lincoln Street. It just raged down in less than 30 minutes. That man, who didn't want his face on camera, watched firefighters hold back the flames. Across the street, homes and businesses were untouched. They've been here all night. I really appreciate everything they've done. You can see it's picking up flames over there now. Fred Heldreth woke up to still smoldering hillsides above his home. Firefighters got to work early here before the midday winds blow in. They start coming from the ocean. They blow this way, so we're just going to look out for embers. And you're taking a look at another black plume of smoke rising from a canyon uh, just uh, to the side of where you just saw the other smoke rising. So a number of different areas firefighters are focusing, focusing on already today. They now confirm that 12 structures were lost in Orange County during the initial phase of this wildfire. Sharon, uh, Sandy, the big focus today, they say, will pr be protecting these subdivisions here in Riverside County. 